Hagen Smith, 38 strikeouts in his last 16 innings, is ready to go, and we are underway. Have a wide zone tonight with Hagen on the mound, but he'll get the strikeout anyhow. 61% of all the outs that Smith has recorded this year have been on strikeouts. Smith ready, next pitch. Cut on the missed. Two batters faced, two strikeouts. Smith is maybe going to come back with that slider. Seems like that wipeout pitch. And that is ball four. A flip to first, leaning is low, but she is going to be picked off. Gigantic target distribution center there. <laughs> Wave and a miss. That pitch isn't fair when you could throw 96. There's the jersey. How about the oh, split jersey? That's awesome. I'm not sure if that's grandma or not, but she's got Mizzou. She's got Arkansas. It's got Lovich on the back. It's got a hog on one side, a tiger on the oh, other on the I mean, sleeve. That wasn't easy to put together. That's, they got it working. And by the way, there's another Lovich brother. And the 2-2 is up and in. Oh, did it hit him? It did. So Ross will take his base. And now he can go tell little brother, who he played with last year, that that one hurt. So. Let's see if they get a little uh, conversation going. Is he going to give, give him a hard time <laughs> by getting picked off? <laughs> That's what he I would should. do. <laughs> Big brother to little brother. Payoff pitch to Souza. Lovich is running. Back ball hit in the air. Down the line and right. Goodbye. Nolan Souza with his second home run of the season. How about your first at bat in SEC play? And you connect for a two-run homer. That's a memory right there, and it's a 2-0 Razorback lead. Against him earlier in this at bat. And the payoff cut on and missed. Three hitless innings. He's taken it full. Just rips one to right for a base hit. Triple digits and exit velo for Kendall Diggs, and he's got the single to begin the Razorback third inning. Chopper towards third. It rolls up the glove of Cologne, and everybody's safe. Ross was hit by a pitch in the second. Score. That ball drilled to right, hit well, back towards the building, goodbye. And the Lovich family can cheer Ross, the three-run bomb. And Arkansas taking a 5 nothing lead. 394 feet up on the building, and the family reunion has a, a leaderboard right now, and it's Ross in front. Second and hits allowed. Wave it a miss, strikeout number five through 10 batters. A little flutter of that glove before the 2-2 pitch. That might be the first Mizzou hit, and it is from Austin. It'll roll slowly into the corner, and Austin has a one-out double. Accepts the second. Wave it a miss, strikeout number six. That was a battle won by Hagen Smith, and he does pass Blaine Knight on the all-time strikeout list. Well, he's got some work to do. He's got 100 to get to Nick Schmidt. Yeah, 345, that's a huge <laughs> that's a, number. That's a lot. This is Thomas Curry. He was a strikeout victim. Sox one to left. Right at Lovich, who was playing deep. He'll make the catch on the track. See if Stovall gets something to drive. And that's ball four. Drilled high in the air. Deep right field. Back to the fence. Wave goodbye. Deep into the Fayetteville night. The third home run of the game. An absolute no-doubter, 400-plus feet from Kendall Diggs, and he sets off the fireworks at Bomb Walker. 7-0 Arkansas, and that was my concern about Lunsford. Yeah, he missed with a couple off-speed pitches. Missed the breaking ball, then the changeup, challenging with the fastball. It was in the bottom part of the zone. I doubt that. Yeah. Strikeout number seven for Hagen Smith. Backdoor breaking ball. Strikeout number eight for Hagen Smith to complete five scoreless innings. It's always nice to get one out on one pitch, That's, though. That is true. There's a ground ball into the hole. Fajiva with a nice backhand, throws on the run, a two-hopper, and McLaughlin can't scoop it for maybe the first time today. That's nine strikeouts from Hagen Smith, a feeble cut from Moore, he just got caught. Get strikeout number 10. How about six scoreless innings from Hagen Smith again? A fist pump on strikeout number 10. Uh -oh. Souza clubs one high and deep. Will this one stay fair? Yes, it does. Up on top of the building again. And Nolan Souza has a two homer game. It's going to be really hard to keep this young man from Hawaii out of the starting lineup when he continues to produce. 
That's the second shot up on top of the building tonight. Home run number four. How about exit velocity 102. Ball game. Arkansas hits four homers. They hold the Tigers to four hits. How about that view? Look at into Baumwalker on a 66 degree Saturday afternoon. Brock Daniels leads off. Brady Tiger ready, and we are underway with a wave and a miss. A little bit more. Two strike pitch, cut and a miss. Here's the one two. Big breaking ball, strike three. That pitch is almost unhittable. And he did get plunked. Stovall at first, no one gone. And that's strike three, inside corner. It's kind of what you expect uh, from Kendall Diggs. And again, he just goes about his business. Great jump from Stovall, get a decent throw, but not in time. Hernandez has got a tremendous chance for Arkansas to strike first. Good pitch again, strike three called again. Here comes a payoff pitch. And that's outside, that's ball four, so he gets the walk after all that. There's a chopper towards Garcia. Had him played perfectly, and he wins the foot race to second in front of Peyton Holt for the force to end the inning. And it's one of those pitches, again, out of the hand you give up on. Although there's a free base runner, and this is a combination worth watching today. The Tigers have been hit a ton this year. 0-2 to Beeman. Strike three called outside corner. Third strikeout for Brady Tiger. Lifted in the air to left center. The outfielders were playing very deep, but Lovich will get there to make the catch to end the inning. Here's a payoff, and he'll take that one off his back. Going, going back into the base in that back corner. Chopper back to the mound. And out at second, back to first. Double play, a 1-6-3. Benji, Yachty, Jose, wave and a miss. Shin guard, he's inputting a lot of data. Payoff pitch, breaking ball, strike three. Five Ks through three innings for Brady Tigert. Personally, having grown up in the Pac-12 or Pac-10 you know, uh, conference, nothing compares to what the SEC brings. It, this is a gauntlet like I've never seen. It, you know, it's something else as Austin singles. And get top of the line training, get top of the line strength. There's a there liner to go. short. Going to be an easy double play as Aloy flips back to first to double off Austin. And now talking to the current GM of the Astros, Dana Brown. Thought he might have gotten him right I there. I too. Tiger going for strikeout number six, and he will issue back-to-back -back walks. Fourth inning, keep this game scoreless. There's the breaking ball, and he didn't quite get the snap. And, you know, he came in having walked seven guys all year. Key situation. And there's a liner! Hop by Alloy! How about that positioning to end the inning? You know, a couple of years later, guys winning a batting title as Holt will K here for the second out in the fourth inning. And at Stanford, I played at Cal. And, you know, outside of being, you know, the hyped up uh, idea of that rivalry, the idea of max effort is great, but it creates the, the a, a different torque on that elbow. There's no and doubt. Balance, but now everybody's just, they can hurl it at, you know, 100 miles an hour. Brock Daniels, who's been a uh, strikeout victim twice, will take his HBP. Tiger will miss downstairs, so he has put on a couple of two-out base runners again this inning. He's like, I'm not afraid. Minute inning change, I'm doing it. <laughs> Wave and a miss. There's the cutter. There's Beautiful. the strikeout. And uh, all because of uh, the man to my right. As Sousa waves and misses. I do what I can to yeah. help out the cause. That, that put me in a bind. I... Strike three call. Six and one with 51 strikeouts the next year. Stovall swings, drives one high and deep towards the roof again. Home run, Peyton Stovall. All nine Arkansas runs this series have come on the long ball, and they've taken out a few chunks of the Hunt Family Development Center. Up, out, and gone. Home run number 22 for the Hogs, and they have hit them in bunches as of late. First run of the game. And we see you too. Aloy drives one high in the air, deep left field towards the hog pen. The Hogs go back to back. Stovall and Aloy, and it's 2 0 Razorbacks. And all 10 runs of the series have come on homers. And the hog pen, a happy place to be. Hey, Brad, how about a 36 degree launch angle for Vahiva Aloy? 
Kendall Diggs shoots one to left field. Have the Hogs gone back to back to back? Yes, they have. Stovall, Aloy, and Diggs. And things travel in threes, and the Hog pin is up for grabs. The Hogs have found their long ball stroke again. Mayer's just trying to swim to shore right now, and that is ball four. The uh, player of the game today, and there are a few candidates all of a sudden as Jones wears that one. That ball sliced to the gap, left center field, and is down. It's going to go all the way to the fence. It's going to score two. And now Lovich around second on his way to third base with a two-run triple. And the Razorbacks have taken a 5-0 lead. Pierre laid out for it, couldn't get it. Miller's going to sit in the upper 80s with that fastball. Rolling the batter, the ball kicks away. Lovich on the wild pitch will score to make it 6 to nothing, And that's not the way Miller wanted to start his outing. A Brady Tiger to not have his good stuff and still keep the opponent scoreless. Will McIntyre is going to get one out on one pitch. That's Wilmsmeyer in center, retiring Garcia. What they see, you know, how the other half lives because, you know, as a, a mid-major player in those non-con games, it's a lot of fun. And Hernandez will ground out here to Stovall. McIntyre ready with another payoff pitch to Caden Peer, and that's ball four. So the Tigers have been patient today. They've made these Razorback pitchers work. He really is shortening up on the bat here, and he's going to wave and miss. That's a strikeout. So Mizzou has just one hit. Tennessee. And there's a high pop-up on the right side of the diamond. McLaughlin, it's his play, and he'll make the catch one out. Lovich lifts one to right. Diggs is there. He's got it. Two outs and 48 strikeouts. That's a wave and a miss. McIntyre barely gives me time to work into my stories. Bouncer to short. Aloy will charge. Throws that dart across the diamond. Retires Beeman to begin the Missouri ninth inning. McIntyre is going to get a pop-up 3-0. So Cologne was swinging away, and there is McLaughlin in Missouri down to its final out. And the 2-2 pitch. Strike three called. Tiger and McIntyre combined to blank Mizzou on one hit. And back-to-back-to-back -back -back homers. Lift the Hogs to back-to-back -back shutouts. It's a dirty dozen, 12 straight wins for the Razorbacks.